your RV may be equipped with a whole house water filtration system, basically what it'll do is it'll filter the water that's coming into your coach from your freshwater inlet or through your freshwater tank, and it just filters the water before it goes inside. There's a cartridge that will have to be serviced and replaced. Very simple to do. The first thing you wanna start by is making sure that your water is turned off. So if you're connected to a hose spigot, turn that off. If your fresh water pump is on, please go ahead and turn that off. Once that's off, you're gonna to wanna to release some pressure out of the line. So just grab your outside shower nozzle, turn it on, just release some pressure. It doesn't be all of the water, just some of the pressure. So this way it's less spillage when you do go ahead and remove the housing. To remove the housing, it will come with a tool inside the coach. You might not even need this. It's pretty much hand tight, but if you do need to use it, it's fine. It just goes along the bottom of the filter, and then you just twist. Once it's loose, you can go ahead and spin your cartridge off by hand. So just go ahead and unscrew this. Again, be careful because there is water in there. Once it's out, you can pull it out. You'll see this water in there. I don't have a filter in this one yet because this is a brand new coach. Uh, what you want to note is the O-ring seal. Sometimes after this coach has been used for a little while, when you pull off this canister, that seal might get stuck to the bottom of the housing. So before you go and install this back on, make sure that seal's in place. If not, go ahead and take it off and just pop it back in the ring. Once that's done, you can go and get your new filter. Now there's different models, so make sure you get the model cartridge that's gonna fit your filter housing. Once that, remove the plastic, slide in your filter. Obviously dump the water out first, the dirty water, dump that out first. Slide your filter housing in. There's a gasket on each side, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. Slide it in, and then you can go ahead and install your filter housing right back on. Again, this is just gonna be, you can just do it two hands, tighten it up. Once that's done, go ahead and turn on your water, turn on your fresh water pump, allow it to build up pressure and inspect for leaks. If you don't see any leaks, you're good to go.